This came off of the high ground. Mm -hmm. And this came off down where it's flat. James Carl Hammond holds ears of corn that came from the very same row. Yet there's an obvious difference in size and weight. Spotty rain and other factors led to an inconsistent crop. The type soil we have right in this area can stand a lot of adverse conditions. But Hammond says he's not complaining because some of his fellow farmers will have it much worse. We're very fortunate here that we're not hurt as badly as you get, uh, say, five miles north or south of us. Producers faced two major weather problems in 2007. First, a late spring frost damaged crops, and that was followed by a summer that included 100 degree heat and a severe lack of rain. Heat in and of itself isn't bad, but it's a killer when combined with drought. Obion County typically sees about $60 million in farm income annually, but not this year. If you take 20% off that, like a year like this year could do, that impacts this community heavily. Tim Smith with UT Extension says corn had to be harvested earlier than usual because some of it was dying. Obion is the state's leading corn producing county. We're still looking at a, a pretty significant loss, but instead of running 160 bushel average like we did last year, we're looking at maybe 100 to 120 bushel average this year. Uh, some places are a lot better, some places are a lot worse. Statewide, crops never got enough water, and yields will be off because of the harsh weather. We think our corn will not uh, yield 50% uh, of what it normally does. We have a, an average county yield in corn of 146 bushels. We'll be lucky to average 70 bushels. Our crops slightly better than, as of at this point, slightly in, in better shape, but still uh, yields are going to be way down. The drought turned out to be the story of the year for Tennessee agriculture. The harvest will not be what was hoped for, and many farmers are just ready to get 2007 behind them. If it's all like this, yeah, uh, I'd be very humble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Chuck Denny reporting.